Hey guys, what's up? It is Michael. Welcome back to the kitchen. And today I've got a new recipe from my cookbook that is coming out soon. I will keep you guys updated on that. And this is a strawberry protein bread. Really easy to make and the end product tastes great. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're gonna do with this recipe is mash up two bananas. I have those right here in this bowl. And then we're just gonna add in all of these ingredients. So we will start with a cup and a half of whole wheat pastry flour, a half a cup of sweetener, two scoops of vanilla whey protein powder, then we'll go with a teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt. Next what we'll add in is six ounces of Greek yogurt. This is six ounces the containers that you will buy at the store and I bought strawberry just because it goes good with the strawberry and banana flavor that we're going for. And that goes right into the bowl. And then we'll add in two whole eggs. And finally one cup of diced strawberries. Now what we'll do is just mix everything up in this bowl. So now that this is all mixed together, what we're gonna do is take one of these bread pans and spray it with some non-stick cooking spray. And this is made with olive oil. And then our mix goes right into the bread pan. And now this is ready to go into the oven and what we're gonna do is cook this at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for around 50 minutes. So I'll see you guys when this is done. And after 50 minutes in the oven, this is what you're gonna get. And what I did was after I took the loaf out of the oven, I let it cool on the counter for 30 minutes and then I cut it up into slices. And you can cut this into however many slices you would like. Today I did seven, but you know, bigger or smaller servings, whatever you want. But we've got our strawberries and banana cooked inside of the bread. It's gonna taste great, so give this one a try. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment down below. I would really appreciate that. And like I said, if you wanna stay updated on the cookbook, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. But that's pretty much it, and I will talk to you later.